Every single day in May, I made a piece of pixel art as part of the Pixel Mania experiment. The goal of this experiment, as Dr. Artindi said, is to improve our pixel art skills. In this video, I'm going to show some of my favorite pieces, tell you some lessons learned, and showcase some of the best pieces from the community. I don't wear glasses because I'm wearing contacts, so let's science this. My hypothesis is that I will improve my pixel art skills by the end of the month. I try to keep most things constant each day to ensure accurate results. For each piece, I used a 64 by 64 bit canvas, used Photoshop as my software, and spent 30 minutes drawing, plus or minus 5 minutes for error. The variables that would be changed throughout the month and that I would be testing is the theme itself as well as my pixel art skills. Alright everyone, put your pixel pants on, because we're going sprite speed. For my first graphic, here are all of the pieces I made in chronological order, from day 1 in the top left to day 31 in the bottom right. To determine if I really did improve, I'm now going to order all my pieces from what I think is the best to the worst. Okay, we can start to see an approximate trend, but let's plot the data to be sure. In an ideal scenario, the trend would be downward linearly, as shown by the blue line, where the top left would show the best data, and the bottom right would show the worst. Compared to our actual data in red, the graph is pretty scattered with a low R value or correlation value, but there's still a downwards trend. Looking at the three best and three worst pieces, we can see that the three best come from the second half of the month, while the three worst come from the first half. There are some outliers in the data, such as day 4, day 25, and day 20, but the overall trend is conclusive. Reflecting on this experiment, I noticed a few things. After about 4 days of experimentation, I started to take advantage of some of Photoshop's tools, such as gradients, shapes, and blurring. This allowed me to speed up my workflow and also create more interesting and advanced artwork. I didn't always use these tools, however. On day 21, for example, I didn't use any external tools, it was just straight pixel art. While on day 22, I used all blurring, gradients, and shapes. It depended on the style and look I was going for, which leads me to my next conclusion. Before this experiment, I didn't have a particular art style I gravitated towards. Most of my previous pixel artwork had been from my game Space Prevention Force, where I focused on simple colors and black outlines. I tried numerous styles over these 31 days, including white outlines, black outlines, no outlines, monochromatic, and minimalistic color palettes. Looking at my favorite pieces, I can conclude that my favorite art style is a monochromatic color palette with no or colored outlines. This was an unforeseen variable, but by the end, I think it improved my data. I also noticed that I had a tendency to include as many smiley faces as I could. Additionally, these types of experiments have been conducted by numerous others in the community, from pixel artists, game developers, even movie creators. And because there was so much artwork going around, I took a lot of inspiration from it. For example, I took inspiration from the Dark Tower movie on day 4, Spongebob on day 7, and the Assassin's Creed games on day 18. The theme and my previous knowledge played a large part in my final piece and how much passion I had for it. The community participated in the event as well, and I also took some inspiration from some of those creators. I'm glad that there are set themes and that the community was involved because in the end, I think it provided a better experiment for all. Based on these conclusions, I can confirm my initial hypothesis that my pixel art skills have improved. If you would like to replicate this experiment or find out more, you can head on over to Dr. Artini's channel for more details. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Pixel Radio.